presentation of the subject of ICT and classroom dynamics. This is a basic subject of the program for the professional qualification for content and language integrated learning in English and other languages. During this presentation, I'm going to introduce the main contents of the subject, the methodology and the assessment procedure. This, essentially, is an online course that comprises 150 hours of self-study. The methodology is autonomous but the learning is going to be guided by the lecturer through the model platform. This subject has six ECTSs. We have three lecturers in this subject. Ms. Rosabel Roch is the coordinator who lectures the Catalan group together with Gonzalo, and my name is Marian Allison, and I will be your trainer in the English group. You can contact us through the Campus Virtual or through the Moodle platform. Both learning environments have a tutorials tool and several forums for discussion. Now, I'm going to introduce to you the learning objectives. The most important objective of this course is that the students at the end of the year will have to be able to use and apply information and communication technologies in the learning process and that they learn how to implement the student's collaborative tasks in order to foster multilingualism. In order to achieve this goal, we're going to learn tools and resources for ICT learning, teaching and communication. Moreover, we will also discover how to collaborate with other teachers and colleagues through ICT platforms and resources. From the point of view of teaching methodology, another important aspect is to learn how to be aware of your students, future students, learning process, especially in relation with the linguistic acquisition and competence and its relation with the content learning. Finally, we will realise real practice about how to implement ICT-supported learning environments. All these objectives can be summarised in a list of seven competencies that are going to be developed and acquired during the course. Firstly, we will cover two basic competencies. All the students will have to demonstrate at the end of the course that they have acquired the necessary computer skills. Also, they will have to be able to communicate effectively using English in the field of specialization. These specific competences are four. The students will have to be able to use ICT as professional teachers. They will have to be able to conduct a classroom research program. And finally, they also will identify a students' learning stages, especially linguistic achievements from the point of view of psycholinguistics. Also, they will be able to understand the value and benefit from multilingualism with a positive attitude towards English in order to engage in cultural and linguistic diversity and thus foster the promotion of the social aspects of the language. This subject is a structure following a task-based methodology. Its unit will focus on a diverse number of contents that will be grouped in a specific tasks. These texts will provide the students with the opportunity of acquiring the knowledge and the skills required in this course. All this knowledge and the skills will be assessed in a final global task, which will be conducted in the last month of the course. Now, it is important to know how we're going to work during the course. As we said before, this is a self-study course. We will just award a platform for the class materials and for communication. But the specific tasks will require the use of other platforms and learning environments. This is the most difficult part of the course and we will be jumping from one side to another. Remember that instructions will only be placed on Moodle. It is essential to comply with the deadlines and in case of necessity, students that can contact the lecturer and ask for an extension. The most important is to do the text and second, opportunities will be granted if there is a due course. The lecturer will provide feedback during the course and at the end of them, they will contact the students individually and will tell them whether they have passed the subject or if there is any task that has to be repeated just because it was not done on time or it did not reach the criteria to pass. All missing tasks or the ones that have not been passed will have to be redone and sent to the lecturer for this reassessment at the end of the course before a specific deadline established by the lecturer. The contents of the subject are grouped in three fields. 
On the one hand, we will cover the methods that are necessary for the integration of ICT resources in a student's learning and communication. Also, we will cover some contents related to professional teachers' training, especially the methodologies for classroom research and teachers' collaborative work. And finally, students will learn methodologies for the analysis and design of ICT materials and resources for learning purposes. All activities have a specific deadlines, and this is the calendar we're going to follow. These are the details. We have seven units. Unit 1 is about how to make a blog. Unit 2 is about how to look for resources when the students have difficulties with the language. Unit 3 is about interaction on the internet. Unit 4 focuses on the information and resources of the internet. Unit 5 deals with ICT learning tools. Unit 6 shows different hardware and resources. And finally, Unit 7 is centered in developing ICT materials. The final module is the final task or assessment module. The students will design an ICT proposal and will present it on a video recording. Now we go to assessment. The assessment consists in continuous evaluation that accounts for 90% of the mark. It will be based on individual and group tasks and the presentation of a personal blog and a Moodle platform just as portfolio for the course. The presentation of the final task will account for 10% of the final mark. Please remember that the linguistic requirement of a B2 level of English will be taken as a reference for the linguistic correction. The student that fails the continuous evaluation or that does not hand in some or one of the course files taking into account the course timetable will be offered the opportunity for a final exam. The first set is a schedule for the 22nd of February and there will also be a second reset in May. Each unit has a recommendation for the specific bibliography. Most of the bibliography refers to ICT tools and internet resources. Please check each unit for reference. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. And remember to contact me anytime you have a problem or a doubt. See you next time online.